This is Voluntas, my ultimate Iron Man. As an ultimate Iron Man, I cannot trade nor use a bank, but I decided to push my restrictions a little further and became a Slayer Pure account. My Slayer level will not be going above 1. This locks off many items and other conveniences that Slayer provides. And what for? Yalnibrek, a pet received at a 1% chance from the Inferno, one of the most difficult pieces of content in the game, a symbol of mastery in the Inferno. And for me, conquering it without Slayer. My house is set up pretty well. I think it's time to start tackling the main big obstacle for this account, and that's going to be completing Song of the Elves. The Bow of Ferdinand is just such a good item, and so easy to get with Song of the Elves. So there are some big skill requirements, and for this episode, I want to tackle farming and maybe chip into herb lore. Now, in the game, there are nine herb patches. Some of them are unlocked by default, and some of them have to be unlocked. Now, currently, I have access to five of them, and there's actually one of them that I will never be able to access because it requires a quest, which requires Slayer. But there are two that are within fairly close reach, and they are disease-free herb patches too, which means that whatever I plant in them is guaranteed to grow. So those are going to be the two patches I go for. To have both patches, I'm going to need to complete making friends with my arm, and that has some pretty high skill requirements, so it's time to chip into those. But first, since farming is a passive skill, I think I should do some quests to get it up, and then get a small routine to be able to get some seeds and start planting some things. I should be able to get like 35 farming from this. Okay, well, I'll do a forgettable tale, and in the times where I have to wait, I'll probably do Troll Stronghold. There is the first quest. Alright, now I wait. Alright, another 20 minutes. Well, I'm going back to the chest on Isle of Souls because I need a Renar potion unfinished for Edgar's ruse. A grimy Renar is 1 in 20 from this chest. That was quick. Back to Forgettable Tale. Alright, that's the first farming quest. 27. Well, there's Edgar's Roost and 40 Herb Lore. Now I need to get 100% favor. Uh, okay, I need to get a spade. I didn't expect to get one of these. Now I can do the diary step. There it is, 10,000 herb lore XP is really big. Obviously I'm here for the farming, but it's really nice. I just have one more farming quest, Enlightened Journey. There we go, and 36 farming. And now I'm gonna unlock the other path so I can unlock. Alright, that's another path unlocked. Alright, that's all I can unlock right now. And now I'll finish off the Hesidious Favor, 100%. Well, that's the favor out of the way. So, with 100% Hesidious Favor, I can do the Tithe Farm minigame. So from this, I want the rewards. I want a seed box, probably the watering can, auto weed, probably the full farmer's outfit, and that'll be about it. Essentially, you just plant these, water them, harvest them, turn them in, and you get XP and points. I'm gonna be here a while. Alright, well that's 50. 
and I can buy another piece of the set. 54, and I can buy another piece of the set. With these points, I can buy the farmer's hat. And there's 60. Alright, well that's enough points for the water can. Right, this is the final batch, and 69 farming from it. It wasn't that bad, and now I'm 1,100 total. Now I can buy the seed box and auto weed, and that's everything. The herb sack is not worth going for. It is basically a waste of an inventory slot. Now I can move on to the next step of the plan, but first I can store the watering can and some of these tools here, and I can store the whole farmer's outfit here, and I can withdraw it whenever I want. Alright, well the seed box can store six types of seeds, so I can just store these in here for now. Alright, well the next step is winter Todd. At this point I need to start working towards all of the skill requirements for making friends with my arm. So the first one I'm going to start out with is fire making. Warm clothing reduces the amount of damage you take from winter Todd, which is very valuable for me since I'll be spending a lot of time there. And one way to get warm clothing is from digging in random places. And I also need to get a sapphire necklace and enchanted to be able to get to Winter Todd. I also need one more agility level for a shortcut at the Winter Todd. I need the shortcut because I'm gonna most likely be doing solo Winter Todd. I need to get 60, so I'll do that now. It should take about half an hour, so not too long. Well, there's that. In preparation for the large amounts of seeds and herbs I'm going to get moving forward, I made a spreadsheet. I can enter the amount of seeds I have of each type, the amount of herbs I have of each type, and then I can see how much XP on average I'll get from all of the supplies. So this should be pretty useful moving forward. There's that done. Alright, well I have a few more things I need to do. One of them being gaining 60% Arceus favor. I should be able to get the favor quite quickly with the library. The reason I'm going to eventually need the favor is to put some portals in my house. It requires 60% favor to put teleports that are on the Arceus spellbook. This should be enough for 60% favor. Uh, yeah, there we go. And I will put all of these on runecrafting to skip some early levels. There we go, level 11. Alright, now I need to get an axe, and I can put away Graceful and take out my warm clothes now. And I can finally use a looting bag. A looting bag is going to be very useful for the Winter Todd grind, because I'm going to get a large variety of items that I'm going to need to store. So I can put them all in the looting bag and save them for later. So this wasn't the case before, but now I can buy a looting bag here for one point, and I can use it within the enclave. I don't need to go into the wilderness, so I can use this completely safely. I don't need to go into the wilderness to get a looting bag, nor use it. And for now, I will just store... Okay. I guess just the scimitar. Alright, finally I got magic logs. I need them for desert treasure eventually, so I'll be keeping these for a while. Alright, I got a bit carried away. I went a few levels past my goal, but it wasn't much time because it's fire making, so it's very quick at Winter Todd. From everything, I got about 20,000 herbal XP. It's obviously not a waste because I need the fire making XP, but I think it's time to move on to the next step of the plan. I need the rogue's outfit. The rogue's outfit gives times 2 loot for pickpocketing, so it's going to be good if I need to get seeds because I'll need to pickpocket master farmers and I'll get twice as many seeds, but it'll mainly be useful if I need money. I'll be able to blackjack and earn twice as much money. For the rogue's den minigame, which is where you get the rogue's outfit from, I need an empty inventory, so off to Zelra. And I can do the mini game here. Uh, it might take a while. Alright, I think we need to be honest with ourselves. Have plugins gone too far? There it is finally. Alright, so that gives me double pickpocketing loot. Alright, I need to decide on what to drop. I can probably drop most of this stuff. I need to get my fire staff back. 
but first I will cut these gems and then sell them to the gem store and drop over these sprout pages. Alright, that was some pretty good money. So my plan is to do farming contracts. Basically, you get assigned to plant something in the farming guild, and when you plant it, you get a seed back, which is pretty good. So I have a few things I want to set up. First, I need to walk to Varak to get my Staff of Fire back, and now I should get my Graceful back, so running into less of a pain. Alright, for now, there's one teleport I want to put in my house. Alright, so I need 200 soul runes and 100 law runes and that was more expensive than i thought but it's very useful so now i can teleport home and redirect a portal to the cell graveyard and the reason this is so useful is because despite being in the middle of nowhere and slightly dangerous there is a fairy ring right here so this will be how i get to the farming guild and i can use this time to clean some of these herbs that i can i'd rather have them in my looting bag cleaned if I can. Now I need to put these herbs away in the looting bag. And now I want to go back to the farming guild. I can finally use something I've kept in my inventory for quite a while. And I kept this spirit seed not to plant spirit tree, but to eventually turn in to, I believe, Guildmaster Jane and turn it into a seed pack. It's a high tier seed pack, so it should give me a variety of good seeds, which is good because I need a lot of different types of seeds in order to complete contracts. Um, not bad. I think it'll be tough to start out because I don't have many types of seeds, but hopefully after a little bit, it'll smooth out. Essentially, I'm going to be doing contracts whenever I can in between the skilling I need to do for making friends with my arm. So I won't show it because it's quite boring because it's farming, but the amount of seeds and herbs I have should just constantly go up as I skill and it's because of farming contracts and herb friends. Oh, I got it. I need to buy a lot of pineapples or compost. All right, well that's a thousand pineapples. Alright, to make super compost into ultra compost, which is a better version of compost, I just need to mine these ash piles, and it gives me volcanic ash, which stacks, luckily. And now I just use the ash on the compost. Well, now I'm gonna start on the skilling. Alright, there's 10. Alright, well, there's 45, so I'm done with smithing. There's 62 cooking. And there is 62 fishing. For magic, I need a lot of money to buy runes. So I'm gonna finally make use of the rogue's outfit. All right, that's 600,000 GP. Well, there is 63 magic. The quest requirement is 66, but it is boostable. With the wizard mind bomb, I can go from 63 to 66. I'm gonna clean all of the fossils I got from training on Fossil Island. Completing fossil displays gives XP lamps, and it should add up to a fair amount of XP. And it's all going on her floor, so it should help the grind. up to 50 herb lore. That helps quite a lot. Now on to the next quest requirement, which is agility. Well, that is all 1,000 buckets of compost made. Now I need to turn the rest of this into ultra compost, but I'll finish off the agility grind first. Alright, there it is. 68. Alright, that's all the compost. casket I got from mining. What? Alright, there it is. 72. On to the quests. There's Romeo and Juliet. There's that quest. And 50 crafting. 
There it is. All right, there's that quest. In this quest, I get two 10,000 XP lamps, and they're both going on your floor. Ooh, and that's actually pretty nice for rewards. 45 per. where the salts come in. I can use them here. That's to vice and this is to the troll stronghold. So this is here and this one's here. This fire allows me to use this herb patch and it even comes with a leprechaun. Right, well with all the farming I've done in the meantime, the herbs in my looting bag and all the seeds I have add up to just about enough herb lore XP for 70. So that is officially conquered. I still need to farm the seeds, but I hope you all enjoyed and I have a lot of herb farming to do.